Welcome to my YouTube channel, I also want to join. So today I'm gonna to be uh showing you guys how to add surface paint, add your own kind of surface paint to your design model uh in Akikad, okay? So without any further ado, let's just get right into the business. Let's say you have like a you know a building you're working on, let's say maybe let's just assume that this uh building is what you're actually working on. And if you click this side of the wall, click on the settings dialog and you try to override one of the surfaces. If you click this and you come to you scroll down and look for paint, you will discover that you have just limited amount of paint to use. Okay, that's just from this side to this side right here. So what if you actually have like a, you want to use a specific kind of a paint, maybe a dark tone type of a, of a paint? So what do you go? How, how do you go about it? So that's just the essence of this video. I'm just gonna cancel this. I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. I can add your own, your own paint to your own to your particular surface in Africa. So what you just want to do, the first thing you just want to do is just come to options. You also come to elements attributes and you want to come to the surfaces here. Let's click on the surfaces. And uh, once this loads up, what, what I want to do next is if by adventure maybe this is what yours is giving you, just come and select this list view. Okay, click on the list view. You want to scroll down and look for paint. Just click on one of the paint. That's this one. Maybe the first one. Let's assume that you, you clicked on the first one. We can click on any one you want to click on. So the next thing you want to do is to come to the side and click on duplicate. When you click on duplicate, now you can just come here and give it whatever name of a paint you want to use. That the paint you want to get. I will be. I'm just gonna name my. I'm gonna name my own A1 because uh, I'm just trying to make a random paint. And I don't know the name uh, of it, so I'm just gonna name, give it a, a random name. All right. So I'm gonna name it uh, A1. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to come to the color. I'm going to click on the color here. As I click on the color here, I'm going to click on this color here. That's the color that uh, that is on this attribute here. So I'm just going to click this, and then I'm going to come to this side here. And I want to take note of this box right here, the color solid, because as you change whatever uh, color you want, this side is going to be changing. So you can decide to increase the brightness or reduce the brightness okay to give you the kind of level of quality you're looking for so you check the side once the side suits your taste okay once the side suits your taste let's say something like this once it suits your taste you can just decide to click on ok once you're done with that you can decide to add any other any of the settings okay to your choice i'm just going to leave it as it is because i prefer this look now the next thing you want to do after you've done that just click on the match settings here click this click on update basic settings from sign where click this okay then click this again and click on the second one once you finish doing that click on ok and uh you are good okay so if you want to assign a, a, a color here what you just have to do is just come to the document section you want to come to creative imaging and click on the surface painter then you want to look for the a1 as you can see it is just the first one so that's why I was talking about using A1. You can use A1, A2, A3, A4, A, 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 A5, to maybe to 9. Then you want to start with the B1, B2, B3, B4 to the end. Once you finish that, you can do you can do C1, you can do D1, E1. So that's the sense of using uh, alphabet and numbers. Okay. You can also do for you can also just, if you, if you know their if you know their names, that's the names of the color you want to use, you want to assign. Uh, you can just put them there it's much more better that way okay so i'm just gonna click this and i'm going to click this okay i'm gonna cancel this and not only are you going to be doing this you want to make sure that once you assign the paint here you want to go to the document section creative imaging and you also click on the photo rendering settings to see if it's if it renders it gives you that is that you know that same look okay so it's very important to do that so uh, once you open this, you click this, you click this, and you come and select the size to 3D window. Click on the settings here. Okay, you can decide to just click this, click this, and leave the rest as, as it is, and just click on this photo rendering projection. Click this, and you can decide to cancel this and wait for it to load up. As you can see, as it renders, it shows that same color that we just created. Okay, so this is one of the fastest way you can do, do this in iCAD. Uh, you can decide to add any other colors of your choice. It all depends on what you have in mind, okay? So don't forget that you just have to come to options, you come to elements attributes, you click on the surfaces, and you can decide to click on the duplicate. You can duplicate one here and name this one A2. Alright, so once you do this, you want to come to the color 
you want to click on this icon and you just you can just pick me with this one and change the tone of this one or maybe increase the tone of this one and click on ok click this update click this update the second one right and click on ok and you're gonna be having it too if you click this or rather you can just decide to just go to the document come to creative image and click on the surfaces so our surface painter you're gonna be seeing a2 click this assign it here okay so that's how you go about it and let me assign it to this edge here all right oh sorry this one was supposed to go for uh this one okay so so this is literally how to go about uh, uh creating new colors new and creating new paints in agika thanks for watching if this video has been available to you, can you like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial video. Thank you.